Let's just call it out there. Welcome to Hey EW, I am RJ City, and my guest is Jeff Jarrett. Hey. <clears throat> Jeff Jarrett. How do you spell that? Ronnie, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. I could not physically be any better in your presence. Uh, you're lying. Could be a little better, a little more hydrated. Yeah, I don't Tell me how you spell the name. G-E-O-F-F. Wow. Yeah, G-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. That's Geoff Garrett. Well, I just lost $20. Your family has been in the wrestling business for over 77 years. They don't have any other interests? That would not be a fair statement. Okay. They do lots of interest. Okay, yeah, they make yeah. stew and they play ball in the backyard, that kind of thing. Um, Name one other interest. Yahtzee. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, it's great. A, it's a it's a famous Texas tradition we picked up in Tennessee. Amazing. Yeah. I did not know that. Your father is famed, uncontroversial promoter Jerry Jarrett. Your grandfather was wrestler and promoter Eddie Marlin, who had wrestled for a time as the Mummy. <laughs> when are you going to pay tribute to your lineage and wrestle as the Mummy Junior? Or the son of a son of a mummy? I thought you grew up around wrestling. It's not Mummy Junior. It'd be Mummy 2, Mummy 3, Mummy 4, Mummy 5. Mummy's boy? We probably need to... Uh-huh. Uh Pretty good. You were the wrestling coordinator for Larry the Cable Guy's Hula Palooza Christmas Luau, where Larry got on the mat and farted in his opponent's face. Are you proud of yourself? Oh. It was such an honor uh -huh. to teach the, the whole Blue Comedy Tour. Yeah. Tour the double, uh, you know, crop dust. Sure. It was it was it was an authentic move. Uh huh. That was perfected uh, up in Minneapolis. Oh my God. Uncle Nick. Well, no, I call him Uncle Nick. You may know him as Nick Bockwinkle. I do know Nick. Ba yeah, that was yeah. a Nick Bockwinkle move. He liked to do the single crop dust. Yeah. But as time went on. You know, it was a tag team territory, sure. so you had to. He kind of had to broaden his cheeks, yeah. and, and and move in a different flatulence direction. That's fascinating, and I guess yeah. that's why Vern smells that way too. In the 2020 documentary, "You Cannot Kill David Arquette," you were given a special thanks credit for what? Ruining a man's career? You ruined a man's Who? career. David Arquette, he was a promising young actor, he did never been kissed, and then you were like, want to hold a belt? And now look at him. There's a lot of guys like that uh -huh. that I've literally took from nothing. Beetlejuice. Uh-huh. Gary Coleman. Yes. Cindy Margolis. Okay. Ben Stiller. Yeah. David Arquette. Yeah. Now, he was a journeyman dude that started in Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Got kind of a freaky family. Yeah. No, no, that's the Von Erichs. Oh. So, so... Wait, do you know David? I'm familiar with him. I think you do, them. you know him, right? We follow each other online. Do you keep in touch with him? Unfortunately, yes. And I would Why try to unfortunately? Well, I just keep tabs on him, make sure he's okay. Did you know a little known fact about David Arquette? Well, why don't you tell it to me and I'll- He owes his entire wrestling career to Tony Schiavone. One of our you know, coworkers. Mm -hmm. Co-work, me and, me and Tony ride the bus together. That's a little known insider fact. Wow. Kayfabe. Gee, so it's all Tony's fault. You have a podcast called My World. Is Jeff Jarrett's world flat or round? Ask Karen. <laughs> very good, very cheeky. I'm sure she'll say, hey, that's fun. And she won't tweet about it. In all honesty, what's your opinion of Dixie Carter? Oh my gosh. Give me a second. Okay. Don't interrupt. Charming. Talented. Elegant. But at the end of the day, I've got to be truthful. I got to be factual. It's kind of what this complete, utter nonsense is about. I believe family law is her best work, not designing women. <laughs> I think the same thing. You're kidding me. Yeah, that's remarkable. I want to give you my hat for Get, that. What? Would you wear it? Do you want me to put it on? Oh my, this is a lot. It's just a lot at once. I don't know how to wear a man's, another man's well, don't hat. Put don't, even, no, don't, don't put it on. No, I want to put it on. Don't even touch it. Put, let me put the hat on. Don't oh, touch I it. I blew it. Should have asked you about I'm beginning to like you. <laughs> 
Thank you. I started despising you, so, Thank but you. don't touch the hat. Okay. You have a country song, you don't sing. You have a guitar, you don't play it. And I've seen you wrestle. What is the secret to doing so many things so well without actually doing them? You're kind of forgetting a key ingredient mm. to this. Making a lot of money along with what you just said. Mm -hmm. That, my friend, uh -huh. is called the it factor. Okay. A lot of people in this industry come up and say, he's pretty good at this, yeah. he's pretty good at that. But when you see a guy that has the it factor, you're mm. looking at him. Like better. a Meshack Taylor. Slap nuts! Oh! Means what? They're nuts that have been slapped? You're slapping them? Or you've identified, hey, you're somebody slapped your nuts, like you're watching in the bushes? What's, what's going on? Explain slap nuts. There's a few things that I kind of consider sacred. Uh huh. But that was a little bit sarcastic. Oh, no, I'm just saying, no, no, fine, just go ahead. Do you know the origin of slap nuts? I would like to. The lady who pioneered the Jarrett name, mm -hmm. 1946, single mom of two, took a second job selling wrestling tickets, and here we are 77 years later. She originated Slap Nuts, my grandmother. Okay, wait, she was married to the mummy? Oh, God. She was the grand mummy? You, That's a good callback. I'm in wrestling. It's you in the, look like I'm from a dysfunctional family. My gosh. Straight and narrow. So go back, your, your grandmother Gr was slapping grandmother nuts. Grandmother used to call... That what really you said. did that was your, Those are your words. She used to call people who slapped their gums together. Okay. People who knew more and more about less and less uh -huh. were called slappies. And it's gums to nuts. And then you said, here we are. Slapping gums I didn't, I didn't nuts. say here we are. Okay. I actually did not say that ever. Ever. As it relates to- You never to come out and say, here we are. Try that next time you're on Dynamite. Here we are. And I'm sure everyone will really cheer. You are also- Are you, are you well, let me ask you this. Please. You're telling me what to do? I'm just How many Hall of Fames are you in? Uh, well, there's a small one in Morgantown, West Virginia, but that's for being a big Don Knotts fan. Are you a Don Knotts fan? I'm a Don Knotts fan. No, you're not. Yes, I'm a Fife Furley man. I'm a Furley Fife. guy. Furley or Fife? Well, Furley knew the karate. So for going for versatility, we just, I got to go just for bonded. Furley. Can I put on the hat? We just bonded. Don't. I thought we were. Bonding. You are also AEW's director of business development. Important position or vague word salad? What do you do? Are you a third party or are you an employee? I, uh, I have a pass. It doesn't work, but I have it, it, one. A, it's a crack and peel is what we call it. Sure. A credential. Yeah. For like... Uh, for for AEW, but the picture on the back... But really just not, for the night, but no, it's not ongoing. You have I'm to a day anything. player, yeah. We'll see how that works out with that soup salad. Okay. So, so you, what do you do? You direct the business? Do you have it rolled up in your back pocket and you say, get to work, that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, Pretty good. Much. And you travel while you wrestle, so you really spend your days working hard on the go. You used to say, don't piss me off. But then sometimes uh, you wouldn't be in an appropriate demo setting. You would say, don't tick me off, which is I, very versatile. Have you ever heard me say that? I, I saw it written on a shirt once on your action figure, and I was like, that's weird. Okay. I'm going to throw out a few scenarios. Okay. You tell me I if I call them scenarios. You call them scenarios? Yeah, we're from different, different parts of the flat world. You tell me if they're piss appropriate or tick appropriate. You with me? Okay, good. An 11 year old's birthday party, but they're really into Kid Rock. Tick. Ah. A church bazaar, but it's across the street from a Fuddruckers. Tick. Hmm. You get stiffed by Chuck Norris. Piss. Mm, mm hmm. Tony Khan's father repeatedly steps on your toe. What shoes do I have on? These little hush puppies here? Ritesh Bala would smack the shit out of you for saying that. Okay. My apologies to, to Ritesh. I just want you to know that. So uh, that would be piss. Okay, yeah. fair enough. And uh, what about this situation right here?
Can we come back to this one? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Well, I think you're great. Aina? I don't understand. <laughs> and before we go, I have one more request. Would you teach me how to do this strut? It would mean so much to me. As a Dixie Carter guy to another Dixie Carter guy, please. Designing women. Design this woman. Family law. Yes. You know, I've only taught, taught the strut to a few select individuals. Mm -hmm. Very few. Danny Bonaducci. Nope. Oh, okay. Keep going. Uh, you know Adam Rich? Sure. We used to play squash together. Okay. You, did you teach it to him? No. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Karen Knotts, Don's daughter. Oh. Tied up in knots, this guy. I saw the play too. It's excellent. Too it's really great. All, All right. right. Teach you the okay. strut, yes. right? So, uh, hold on. We're going to kind of go through the progression. Please. Because you have to stand up. Mm -hmm. You have to get situated. The, my best view, though, uh -huh. the best view of it is, mm -hmm. is that I need to see your shoulders and your hips uh -huh. from behind. Oh, okay. Don't go there. Should be it's, like in his Instagram, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so th there's a lot of head waving, a lot of shoulder okay. getting ready, uh -huh. a lot of hips. Slow down. Okay. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's all in the rhythm, okay? Okay. So let's give it a shot. Stand up. Turn around. Turn around. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Well, now we've gone. One more. Okay. Okay. Just just, whoa, whoa, that's good. Okay. All, all right. right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So what we're going to do is. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Like that. About a 45 degree tilt forward. Okay. Chin up. That's too much chin. A little bit lower. Did you ever see the episode when Barney was trying to sing in Andy Griffith? It's, a, it's adorable, but then you know, on, Boomer comes in and just... Quit. We're, this is valuable sorry. TV I'm time sorry. here. So 45 degree angle. Yes. All right, give me uh, two peace signs, double peace sign out in front of you. There you go. All right, bend up. Well, that's too far back. Back there. Okay. Uh, tilt the head just a little bit. Give me a little head wave. Uh, no, no, that's This like, is the guy with the chest th that's protector. It, that's it, that's yeah. it, that's it. And what you're going to do is, is just, don't too far, because you're going to go too far out of frame. Okay. Just kind of maybe give me a half step to the right, a little bit, little bit, and then back to the left, a little strut, like here we go. But now we're going to go forward. We're not two-stepping, Oh, ass. okay, all right. Jesus, so we're going to go forward a yep. little bit, and then I, I, what I want you to do is, mm -hmm. is I want you to take... Listen to me. I'm one hearing One step it. forward on the right, one step forward on the left. Throw both hands up, double peace sign. Stay there. Yes. Stay there. Okay. Say when. <laughs> My present. Uh, Give me a hand. Look at this guy. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I feel like Charo. <sighs> I love you, Papa Jay. Can, can, can you shut the sign off? Can you shut it off?